here you have um, an exhibition which resulted from the Scottish Parliament deciding to uh, note the fact that in 2010 I was 80 years of age. And so uh, they made a statement from a motion that was presented to them by one of their parliamentarians. And it, the statement is that the Parliament notes and celebrates the 80th birthday of Richard DeMarco, one of Scotland's leading so-called. So and then it goes on. I have asked, uh, the Minister of Culture says, I've asked the Scotland House our office in Brussels to mount an exhibition of items drawn from the DeMarco archive and collection to demonstrate the significant role that, that has been played, um, made manifest by this um, archive. And um, it relates to Europe. See the flags of Europe here. And it's, the exhibition was called uh, Scotland and Europe, Europe in Scotland. If you come this way, you'll see a map that I've drawn. And you'll see this is where I work. I ask everyone in the world to come here, not just to there, but I'm asking people to come from Tbilisi in, in um, Georgia, from Greece, from Malta, from the extremities of Europe, from Casablanca, from Spain, from Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia, all to here. That's important. Not just during the festival. So we can hear their languages, learn to know more about them, not to be misunderstanding them. Come this way. Way back when the Traverse started in 1963, I was busily painting a great mural about the spirit of culture descending upon the city of Dundee. <laughs> so it's not just Edinburgh, it's other cities that I care about. And here you've got my work as a school teacher, my students from Scotus Academy coming to see what I'm doing as, well, as still as a school teacher, I was still a school teacher at the time I was founding the DeMarco Gallery and the Travis Theatre. And here I'm trying to rethink the nature of um, Edinburgh to remind people that at one time, not long ago, during my life, they were actually building ships, the shipbuilding yard in Leith. And that uh, Edinburgh is a port. <laughs> and that you can travel all over the world from Edinburgh by sea. I think what we've actually got here is um, the bulk of the archive. But this is only one-tenth of it. There are 14 other rooms with parts of the archive stored. And I'm now going to show you another part of the archive, which are on permanent, um, if you like, view, but they're only here for you to use, as, not as gallery goers, but as students. <laughs>